Dr. Jackson, welcome to the program. Thank you. How confident are you that the opposition will win the election? Well, according to the polls of many institutions, and also including our internal poll, we are confident that we are winning. You confident that Puatai will win outright and be able to govern? Uh, more likely, more likely, we will win outright. Why do you say that? Uh, well, the, if you if you look at the analysis, that uh, even we've been bought uh, many MPs out when they dissolve the PPP, we still have the largest number of MP in the parliament, and we start from two thirty at that time. But now the uh, popularity is much better than than last time, so we should be able to win outright. What if the election is too close? to be clear-cut. Do you think that that could create further civil unrest? I don't think so. It depends. If you leave it according to the, uh, the democratic, democratic principle, that is, the, uh, the, the leading party should have the right to form the government first. That should be okay. But if you're trying to use force, like uh, you use the military to force the uh, small parties to form with that faction, not this faction, that might be a uh, clear problem. But I hope that we learn a big lessons for the uh, conflict in our countries already. And now the Puerto Rican Party offer reconciliation, even though we've been victim of the uh, of, of of the the, the conflict in the past. We still offer reconciliation, even though we are winning. This, that it should be a chance for Thailand to uh, reconcile the difference of what we have been, been suffering for five years. What if, though, for example, it's close enough that the Democrats could form a coalition with smaller parties, therefore run the country even if Pua Thai wins the bulk of the popular vote? Well, that is... Uh, let's see. We That's a real possibility, though, isn't it? Well, I think the I may be optimistic that Puerto Rico will win outright majority. We might be optimistic, but I think so far, if it were to have election tomorrow, we win outright. The party's slogan is, in English, "Tax and thinks Puerto Rico acts." So, are you in fact the de facto opposition leader from outside the country? Well, I I may influence in terms of the uh, ideas and thinking because I have more experience than others. And then uh, I, I just want to see them success. And I just share my experience as a former Prime Minister and experience of running around the whole world and uh, just giving them some ideas. So they, and they, they have the teams. Sometimes they think as well. They, we just share and then finally we agree together. So is it fair to say, though, that a vote for Pua Thai is a vote for, if not you, your policies, your, your attitudes? I think it's vote for policy. We have a uh, different kind of policy that address different groups of people. We, uh, we are addressed with their debt, they're addressed with their income, we address the problem with their uh, worry about their children, that is narcotics and also the uh, education. So we provide them with the uh, one tablet PC per child. Yes, I mean, it, it sounds like a great idea, mm. Wi-Fi and a tablet for yes. each child. Yes. But how realistic is that? Is that just a, a popul populist policy to get votes that can't no, actually be used? No, uh, we, we, are, we are well known by whatever we said we deliver. During Thai Lak Thai Party, we deliver everything that we said, even more than what we said as well. For example, we do that lily for the small farmer. We did that. We do, we did the uh, village fund, uh, one million baht village fund for every village in six month time after we came to government. And also we delivered the 30 baht healthcare scheme uh, in six months time as well. Your sister Ying Luck is leading the party. How is she qualified to be leader? Well, you know, she 44 years old. And uh, she has master degree from US, and uh, she been working from uh, uh, small officers until the CEO of EIS, which is an organization with more than ten thousand employees and uh, about five billion uh, turnover, five billion US dollars turnover. She been passing through 
uh, a lot of experiences, uh, even though she's, she's a lady. But the lady is, is good without political pack, pack, baggage, is good for leading reconciliation. Yet she has no actual experience as a politician. To go from no political experience to prime minister, that's a big jump. Well, uh, even, even myself, I don't have much experience in politics when, when I jump to prime minister. I may be uh, minister for foreign affairs, it's only three months, and I may be deputy prime minister, it's only uh, one year, and another time it's only two months. So it's not that long. And she been of surf politics through my father as a former MP and through myself as a prime minister. And even though she worked in the business part, and uh, she represented me. Well, in, in fact, she, you've been quoted as describing her as your clone. What do you mean by that? Well, she used she 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 my youngest sister, and uh, when I when I marry, she's just eight years old. And uh, when my pa- mother passed away, she just 18 years old, and she's still in the university, not even finished yet. So I groom her from there, and uh, I send her to school, finish university here, and then master degree in the U.S. And then I, she came back to work for me. She worked for me from the beginning. So I teach her, I train her, the working habit style is really exactly like me. Mm. But in describing her as a clone, are you saying that she's your puppet? That she's no. doing what you no. tell her to do? No. Clone is mean that the same culture, the same background, the same ideas, the same attitude, the same thinking. One of the key planks of the Red Shirt campaign has been for democracy, obviously. Mm. How is it democratic to appoint your sister to head the party and potentially become Prime Minister? No, no. Is I, we looking for the people that can lead the parties. And then she is one of the choice that we propose. And with the committee of the parties, we have to select. And we discuss over and over. And uh, we tr- we, before her, we try to recruit someone outside the parties. But they're scared mm. to come. Mm because of the rumors about uh, disband the parties again, you know, when you win, you will not be able to, to form the government. That's the rumors keep spreading. Mm-hmm. So somebody else from out, the outsider feel scared to come in.